Hello everybody, I'm Half Tangible. Let's play Warcraft 3, Reign of Chaos. So I finally got some patches installed that will let me display health bars at all times, and also up the revolution just a t resolution just a tad. Sorry, it'll be the same res on the YouTube video, unfortunately, but things should look a bit smoother. Let's get started with Chapter 3, Ravages of the Plague. Three days later in Alterac, Arthas and his men wait near a crossroads along the King's Road. Near the village of Brill, looks like. Prince Arthas, we've been waiting here for hours. Are you sure this friend of yours is coming? I'm sure. Jaina usually runs a little late. A little? We must help her! Stay your blade, Captain. She can take care of herself. I call shenanigans. That's totally a summon. Herself. Right. Gentlemen, meet Miss Jaina Proudmore. Special agent to the Kirin Tor, and one of the most talented sorceresses in the land. Looks like you haven't lost your touch. It's good to see you again, Jaina. You too, Arthas. It's been a while since a prince escorted me anywhere. Yes, it has. Get a room! Well, I guess we should get underway. Our sources believe the plague originated in the region north of here. We should check out the villages along the King's Road. What's the plan? So yeah, this is Jaina Proudmore. Now she's an Archmage. As I've said before, each faction gets a caster hero, a support hero, and a melee combat hero. I'll check it out. The Archmage is the human caster hero, as you might be able to tell from the name. And... <coughs> Sorry. Okay. The Archmage is the human caster hero, counterpart to the Orc Barseer, i.e. Thrall. Archmages have the Blizzard ability, which does area of effect damage. Summon Water Elemental, which does exactly what it says on the tin. Brilliance Aura, which causes men which gives all the units around her mana regeneration, or increased mana regeneration. And Mass Teleport, which also does exactly what it says on the tin. Teleports a whole crap ton of people. Justice shall be done. What is your wish? Oh, and because I forgot to bring it up last time we had a captain. For Lordaeron. I don't think we've had a captain. I am on it. Anyway, the captain is basically an upgraded footman. He's got more attack, oh, more armor, more health. And you can't make him in the actual game. You only get him at specific points in the campaign. For honor. Particularly points where Arthas Certainly. needs somebody to talk to. Okay. A sound plan. Prince Arthas, there's something amiss at the bridge ahead. Wait, you know that there's a problem, but you don't know what the problem is? Not like it's that far. I mean, you could probably just walk over there and see in like 30 seconds. For honor, a sound <laughs> plan. Remember, kids, always play with fire. The light is my strength. Oh, and then there's this. <laughs> Justice I like little details like that. Of course. Makes the world feel alive, you know? A sound plan. Greetings, my lord. Of course. Feels Certainly. more like a world and less like a For game. For honor. My lord, someone has destroyed the bridge from the far side of the river. There is another way to cross, but it is not as safe as it used to be. So I guess you could say that that bridge was your Achilles heel? I'm sorry. Certainly. Yeah. I'm here to help. Of course. This village is certainly peaceful. My lord, if this is about taxes, I can explain. No excuses! That's what you get for messing with the Alliance Revenue Service. Arse! 
Well, let's leave his Certainly. family to mourn that we just murdered him in broad daylight, of and course. continue our completely peaceful, non-eventful stroll through the village. Slaughter them all! Okay. Bandits, okay. run! Let's defend Save the village. The town. Save us! Yeah. Here we go. Summon a water element. Now he's got a bit healthier than a footman. He's got a ranged attack. And it does 21 to 29 damage. Oh, and on request, this is what happens when you click a sheep on time. See? Look how fun this oh, is. Oh, thanks so much. I have a reward bleeding. for you. And then it exploded. Is there danger? Oh, and Arthur's got a potion. That's awesome. Let's watch the sheep one more time. So yeah, wool is made out of hydrogen in this universe. I'm here to help. Of course. Apparently. My lord, there is an ancient fountain shrine nearby. Legends say that its holy waters can restore health and heal grievous wounds. That could prove to be useful indeed. Elizabeth? Is that an actual name? Is there danger? Do they just want to get everybody with an A in their name except for Daniel or... Donald? Barton? I'm here to help. For honor. A sound and here plan. we have a pair of murlocs. You remember them, right? So yeah, we just got an optional quest to find a fountain of health, which is one of the neutral buildings in the game. Now, Certainly. different neutral buildings do different things plan. depending on which one it is, like the goblin merchant Certainly. or the mercenary camp. This particular one is a fountain of health, which increases the regeneration of all units that stand around it. And honestly, that's pretty good in a game where you don't regenerate for all that quickly otherwise. Those of you who have played Dota or League of Legends are probably familiar enough with it. Normally your units only have a slight slow regeneration that would take like 20 minutes to fill up all the way. But then you have the fountain which you can go to and heal up in like a minute tops. Sounds good. I'll take care of it. A sound plan. We'll go what ahead honor. and do the fountain of health one. <sighs> Certainly. Whoops. Of course. More bandits. My bad. Feel my wrath. Just skip that. A sound of wrath. Okay, this is a lot easier to direct For the battle when you can see all of their health bars. For honor. I mean, granted, you can do that anyway if you're down here, but it's not the same. You are past our More exploding sheep. <laughs> the light is my strength. That was fun. Feel okay. Sack their camp. If we get anything. A sound plan. And we'll leave the tent. Of course. Certainly. Lock your shields and defend Undead. yourself. Undead! Their arrows won't get through. Skeletons, slay them all immediately. I stand for the light. Justice shall be done. Who could have seen that? Undead! Who could have seen that coming? Unless you were paying attention when I said that there would be a dead that one time in the video that you probably don't remember. For honor. So yeah, this is why the orcs aren't showing up for a while. What were those creatures, Sergeant? Undead, my lord. This whole village has gone mad. We did our best to defend the villagers, but... We'll get to the bottom of this. I'm here to help. And Arthas is on Justice mana. shall be done. Great. That's so why Brilliant Sora is useful, for the record. So yeah, this is why the orcs aren't showing up for a of while. Of course. The new undead faction is our enemy for this campaign. Of course. Sadly, you can't make skeleton Certainly. archers like those that we just saw over of here. A 
down. But they do make a nice enemy. You are past death. Although the fact that we can't make kills in our ship only gets more confusing in the next trailer of the light. Why? Of course. Okay. Certainly. For honor. So yeah, the footmen now have defend, which reduces damage taken from and then reflects back piercing attacks. Arrows, bullets, magic spells, that sort of thing. Because that's how shields work, right? Hold them up and suddenly you can hit plan. your opponent for honor. Own it with their own attacks. This must be the shrine that the old man spoke of. their shield enchanted or something? Any man who drinks from these light blessed waters will be healed. So yeah, everybody gets healed. I am honored. Now this one doesn't restore mana, that one we'll see later. Certainly. But yeah. So as I was saying, the footmen now have defend, which increases which decreases piercing damage and reflects some of them back, which includes spells, giant rocks, arrows, and all that. Because that's how shields work, right? I stand for the light. My headcanon for this is that all of their shields are enchanted because it makes the fact that a bunch for of villagers honor. have access to full Certainly. armor, plating, shields, and swords even more Certainly. ridiculous. For honor. A sound plan. It's honestly kind of hilarious. Oh, and if you're wondering why I'm not using Holy Light to damage the skeletal archers, they technically don't count as undead units, so I can't hurt them with it. It's one For of the honor. game's weird quirks. It's as if the land around that granary is dying. Could the grain itself be plagued? Let's hope not. Those crates bear the regional seal of Anderhal, the distribution center for the northern boroughs. If this grain can spread the plague, there's no telling how many villages might be affected. I hate so yeah, this land around here is blight. We'll get more onto what exactly that is in the undead campaign, but for now, think of it as Zerg Tree. Basically, the undead were here. You asked for it. I hate Why is there a die. skeleton? You asked for it. Sounds interesting. I hate resorting to violence. I'll check it out. I'll take care of it. Undead everywhere! Sounds interesting. Of course. Yeah, they're a necromancer now. If you didn't see that coming, a sound I have a bridge to tell you to tear it out. Okay, that one was really bad, I'm sorry. I'll check it out. For Lodoron. I am honored. For Lodoron. I am honored. Yeah, For Lodoron. Here we go. I am honored. Greetings. We are priests from Quel'Thalas. I just said that. We've come to help heal the land of this strange curse. As always, the generosity of the elves is greatly appreciated. You should know that there is a granary warehouse at the far end of this village. This evil blight may be evident there as well. We'll check it out. Yes, we will. So yeah, honor. priests mainly Search heal. They also have dispel magic, which about magic and inner fire which gives your unit to increase attack speed Feel my wrath. I think increase damage too yeah a sound plan for honor certainly what the hell are you men shooting at we're blasting those damn skeletons sir this whole flaming village is crawling with them well I could use your help we've got a warehouse to destroy at the end of town let's get to fight For honor, the light of strength. No, Captain, you really shouldn't be down there on your own. Is there danger? A sound plan. That's kind of badass, though. So 
So yeah, if we hadn't shown up right then, this quarter team would basically be screwed. I'm here to help. For honor. Justice shall be done. I find it hilarious that he was attacking. All they had to do was go right up this hill and he would be dead. I can help. I'm here to help. For Lodoron. So yeah, Let's get to fight. this is the mortar team I brought up last time. They are the human siege Justice. unit, which basically means they are built to destroy buildings. The help. cost is that they are basically glass cannons. They die real easy. The light is my strength. Give that to For Regina. honor. What's the plan? She's the end base Justice hero. shall be done. Certainly. Where do you want us? Come on, Shorty. On our way. So, yeah. Let's get to fighting. They do siege damage, which does a lot of damage to buildings. Is there danger? A sound plan. Certainly. But unfortunately, they can also injure your own units if you're not careful. A sound plan. We've been discovered, my brothers. Flee and continue with the operation. I'm sorry I can't stay in chat, but duty calls. The creature looks like it was sewn together from different corpses. Let's study it after we kill it, okay? And the narrator called the gnolls foul. You and for the record, what? yes, you can Sounds build the abomination in the actual game. And it is justice shall Sir, destroy that warehouse. Now. I'll check it out. Okay, Arthur. Sounds good. And here are ghouls. You can also build these in the game. They're basically dead. That's good. What's the matter? Oh, yeah, I guess that was strength. obvious. They're called the Undead Scourge. For honor. I'm here to help him. Throw it up. You are past my death. Hello! What was that? And who was that wizard dressed in black? I believe that the robed man was a necromancer. Obviously, he and his lackeys are behind this plague. Well, it's a good bet we'll find him, and the answers we're looking for, in Anderhall. So yeah, that was Ravages of the Plague, everybody. Next time we go to Anderhall, and we really start to get in the meat of this story. This is Half Tangible, signing off. Thanks for watching. I don't think the frame rate dropped below 60 at any point. That's honestly kind of awesome.